This is the connection area of the MultiPlus 2. There are lots of different MultiPlus 2s. This is one of the 120 volt models. The 120 volt AC has three wires, a hot, a neutral, and a ground. Don't confuse this model with other ones for 120 to 40 volts that use four wires. In the MultiPlus 2, the connection area was redesigned to get all the connections together in one place without them all getting in each other's way. And I think they've done a very good job of making it more accessible and easier to work. Starting at the left, we have the AC connections. Like all MultiPluses, there's a single AC input and two AC outputs. AC output 1 is available for use at all times, meaning it can run from shore or inverter power. This would be for something like a microwave that you would like to always be able to use. And output 2 only works when external power is available and would typically for thing, be for things like a water heater that you don't want the inverter to power from batteries. These AC connections use push-in connectors with a very strong spring clip. They accept a maximum size of 6 gauge and are designed to be used with wire ferrules. If you don't use a ferrule, it's almost impossible to get 6 gauge to fit. Here's an example of a ferrule on 8 gauge wire. You need to be sure to use ferrules that grip the wire tightly. In this example, it puts a serrated crimp on the wire that's very tight and won't come out. If you need to remove the ferrule later, you'll have to open the jaw by inserting a screwdriver to unlatch the mechanism and then pull the wire quite firmly. You don't want the wire to pull out of the ferrule because then you'll have the ferrule stuck in the jaws making it even harder to get out. You'll see there are rubber grommets here that you can cut to suit the size of wire that you're using. There are also clamps on the inside um, to hold the wire tightly so it doesn't pull out. Notice that the rubber grommet for the output, output 1, is bigger than all the others. This is because the MultiPlus is capable of putting more output on this wire than it gets on the input. The power assist feature means it can augment the incoming power by adding an inverted power taken from the batteries. So if you intend to use this feature, which is enabled by default, it's quite likely that you would need bigger wires on the output than on the input. Over on the right, we have the DC connection area. These are M8 studs, 516 is the equivalent US size. The multi would normally use 4 aux cables because it's recommended fuse is 400 amps, and according to the ABYC tables, that's the size of wire re required to carry 400 amps. There is provision to double up the cables. Victor and I have provided two studs for each. But the ABYC standard requires you to size each wire so it could carry the entire load by itself. So that doesn't really let you use any smaller wires. The rules are written that way because a negative connection could become loose and its twin would end up doing all the work without blowing any fuses. The on-off switch is on the right here. Position 1 is on, the middle position is off, and position 2 is charger only. This switch has to be on to enable any of the remote switching options. And near the DC connection area is the case ground connection. This needs to go to the engine ground or DC negative bus if you're in a boat or to the chassis if you're in a van. And the wire size can be one size less than the size of the DC connectors. Next we look at the VE bus connections. There are two. You can use either. In most projects, one connects to the Servo GX. Be sure to use genuine VE bus cables. Here we go. The second connection point is often not used, but if you had a remote panel or if you had more than one MultiPlus you wanted to gang together, that's where you'd connect them. Next we have this row of green connector blocks in the middle. The lower ones are for temperature and voltage sensors. For lithium batteries we don't use the temperature sensor option because it's disabled in the software. Use of the voltage sense wire is optional. If you use it, the multi will sense the delivered voltage and compensate for voltage drops along the wire when charging. The next few are programmable auxiliary ports. These can be used for other types of BMS where there's no servo. And there's also a grand relay used in some specialized marine applications. Down here is the relay connection. It's programmable and can be used for an auto generator start signal. However, the servo also has the same feature in a more easy to use format. So if you had a servo, you wouldn't use the one in the MultiPlus. And finally, there's a remote switch option if you remove the terminal jumper, you can run two wires to a remote switch that lets you turn the multi on and off remotely with any small switch.